And now back on the what the hell was that show? That show. Last time on Ace Attorney. What the fuck was Edward that? Stead, Edward Stead commit a murder. <laughs> time skip. What? No! No! <laughs> what? No, I'm, oh, I'm done. This is some oh, shit. Yeah. No, this sucks. This game's bad. Oh. Lucy, this game's yeah. terrible, dude. I yeah. hate it. Capcom, this please game fix. Has suddenly been like, I, I, I am now disappointed. Yeah. Capcom, please fix. What was Mr. Edgeworth talking about? I have no fucking idea! I think it was that fruit basket I sent. <laughs> That's why he, yeah, he, he killed the delivery guy. <laughs> he didn't want to pay the bill. <laughs> a memory of a crime that I committed. If they don't tell us this right now, I'm gonna get very upset. A memory of murder. Do you really think Mr. Edgeworth killed? He does have that soulless look in his eye. I mean, uh, I don't believe it. Not, not Edgeworth. <laughs> Some painful memory has been troubling him recently. Hello, cat. What can I do for you? But he'd never take someone's life. Never. Nick? Oh. Yo! How's everyone doing? What a mood killer. What do you think of my performance today? What's wrong with your teeth? Or should I say tooth? There's no line, so he has one tooth. Yeah, one, one giant tooth. One gigantic tooth. I have to throw in the ass, have I? Yeah, the last time I've seen that art style for a mouth, it was on a sprite that was small enough that it oh. could get away with it better. Yeah. The swooning? Me? Oh. Oh, yes, I do remember feeling faint. <laughs> right on. The tower of the two, dude. It was, was like love at first sight, right? Minor, Larry. Right, Dick? What? Me? No. Oh, yeah, man. No, no. You know you no. Love me. Absolutely not. <laughs> My life would be so far superior if you were not involved. <laughs> well, maybe my heart skipped a, a beat or two. Mm -hmm. I think you could do better than that, man. Come on! I saved Edgeworth in there, dude! Edgy! I had it under control! No, you so did! I so had it under control! No, you did it! I had it under control! No, no, if it wasn't for my testimony, Edward would be, like, filed off to the election. He'd be perfectly now. innocent, because I had it under control. No, he... No, you already had him declared guilty until I came in and saved No, him. thank you very much. I had him declared guilty before you were even considered for the stand. You were telling me you didn't know shit when he was declared guilty, yes, but I had yes, it under control. I him declared guilty. Uh, having Edward sent off to prison is not having things under He wasn't control. being sent to prison prison because I had it under control. <laughs> No, he was declared guilty. No, to prison. he wasn't gonna go to prison because I had it. No, you did. I so had it. Things are so far from being had. It's not even funny. Far from you having it because it was already in my hands. I already no, had it. I literally saved the day with my testimony. You didn't do shit, dude. <laughs> Yes, I did! This joke's getting old, read your line! Yeah, yeah, yes it did! did, did, did you guys should be bowing before me, yeah! Bow before your hero! Get out of my office! <laughs> <laughs> Stop crying like that, you're weird! <laughs> Where's my cat? She better be in that window, she is, okay. <laughs> 
Larry, you uh, kind of helped out in the trial today. You did. If you weren't there, Larry, I'm sure Edgeworth would have been found guilty. Hey, shh. Fix that sentence. Come on. Uh, uh how am I supposed to fix it? I don't know. Just don't make it sound so like he saved my ass. Um, uh, you didn't make any difference at all. Oof. You heard it. Even <laughs> she said it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right there. The bird shop caretaker guy is pretty suspicious. I mean, yeah, he has a bird. Who has a bird? Well, the thing is, like, the bird off the top. That's the real one. But, but Eddie ate off the hook, yeah. Oh, you're telling me. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Way to spoil the mood, Larry. Hey, I'm just the guy sitting in the audience, you know? Well, you know what they say about audience participation. It's bad. Get out. It should happen more often? It should never happen. But Rocky Horror Picture Show. There's an exception to every rule, but you're not it. <laughs> but from where, where I was sitting... Edgy seemed pretty edgy. Wow. I mean, can, can you really know he's telling the truth about that night? And this was like, I think that's just meant to imply being on edge because this was like before edgy became edgy like popular in that slang. Yeah. It was like on edge, like edgy. Edgeworth was nervous. Yeah. Nick? I don't know. But what I do know is, I'm gonna believe in you. What the fuck? I'm gonna believe in you two until the end. Us two? Well, her. And Larry is confused. Yeah, at least <laughs> her, at least. I, I mean, seriously, man. I know I'm cool, but, like, if I am your last hope, you're far more screwed than I thought. Edgeworth and who else? You mean me, right? Nah, he means me! Right, Nick? You know you do. I've had one sidekick this entire game, Larry, and it wasn't you. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, sure, Larry. You. But, but we've known each but we've been pros forever, man. But she's my sidekick. Minor, Nick. She can- what? <laughs> I think the thing here is supposed to be I'll believe in you and Edgeworth till yeah. the end because we've been like friends since but, but school. Since school. Yeah. Not me? Apparently it's not thematically appropriate, so no. Not you. My um, you can... You're still my sidekick, you though. You gotta make the girl cry, Nick. But, but I mean, Nick. you're my sidekick, so that says everything, right? Yeah. I guess. But, but why you, Larry? I'm, I'm kind of on her side on this one. I get the I get the thematic appropriateness, but dude, she's my fucking sidekick. Yeah, yeah Maya has been far more useful than Larry. I mean, Larry just kind of stumbled in. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, Nick. Oh, why me? I mean, <laughs> enough with the silent treatment. <laughs> that was the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen. Nick? <laughs> Why do you trust Mr. F Edgeworth so much? Fworth? Fworth. <laughs> Cat's crawling on me, so... <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Just stay unmuted. She can be color commentary on top of our color commentary. I mean, he's changed recently, true. <laughs> but when we first met him, he was kind of a jerk, don't you think? Yeah, I sent him a fucking fruit basket with dick fruit in it. <laughs> and that made him better? <laughs> yes, the dick fruit awakened his eyes. That sounds it terrible. Really Hold on, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> oh no! 
bananas and peaches. She yeah, bananas and peaches. He just really likes bananas and peaches, dude. And it awakened his inside. Oh god. She realized how he really felt about Phoenix. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, well, that's the direction we're taking this, I guess. <laughs> you I did ship it. All right. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> You didn't know him back then. Back when you wanted to become a defense attorney. Wait. Was that when you two were classmates? Are you paying any <coughs> attention at all? No, I play with my animal crackers. Oh, great. Well, yeah, in grade school. They saved me. Miles. And Larry. They saved me and I'll never forget it. That's why I became a defense attorney, you know. What? Hey, hey, Larry, what's he talking about? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I kind of forgot. <laughs> okay, Nick, out with it. I'm going to hear this story today, and that's final. Okay, okay, okay. It's kind of a long story, so hang in there. Oh, <clears throat> oh boy. It was the beginning of spring, fourth grade. I was on a trial. A, cl <laughs> a class trial. <laughs> a class trial? <laughs> you remember, Larry? Spring, fourth grade. A kid in my class got his lunch money stolen. Lunch money? What's that? <sighs> you know when they give you five dollars and tell you to go to the vending machine? Yeah. Think about that, but it was my parents giving me money and I got a full meal. Oh. Kay. Okay. So, our school was really small. Every month, kids would bring in an envelope with money for lunch from home. Huh, I see. Anyway, this kid's envelope disappeared with $38 and a no cents still inside. Oh yeah. Now that you mentioned it, I do remember that. I can see why you'd, why you'd forget, though. I don't know how you know how to breathe. And you were out of school that day anyway. Anyway, the envelope had been stolen during P.E. class. It's coming down with a cold, so I'd skipped P.E. that day. I was the only one not in class. So, they thought you did it? Yeah, the kids in class said I should be put on trial. Trial? That doesn't seem like a real school Is that system. normal? No. No. <laughs> Absolutely I, I not. Mean but then the teacher was like, yeah, let's put him on trial, that's so fine. Th that's absolutely what happened. Classes it... that were, were, were like, trials could only take three days. So, I mean... Every dickhead what? kid in that class would say they're guilty, and they didn't even care. Yeah. So the next day, we held a classroom trial with me as the defendant. That's little Nick. Um, I'm not gonna put on a kid voice, because I, I just can't do it. So we're just gonna pretend that Nick's all he sounded like he was like 15, and we'll just go with it. Okay. Uh, the teacher just stands there. I, I, I didn't do it! Guilty! He did it! Guilty, it was you, Steve! You such a me! You did it, you did it, you did it! You can't say the truth! Yeah! Rebel, 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 Spiky haired butt face. Now, Phoenix, you know, know you still steal people's money, right? It's not right. In the end, even the teacher thought I'd done it. Apologize to the class, Phoenix. But I only stole one person's money! The, but feel free to keep the money. I don't have the money. I, I didn't know what was happening. 
I was so sad, I just couldn't stop crying. Everyone was staring at me like I'd done it. That was the day when I stopped feeling emotions and just insulted everybody instead. I tried to apologize, I went over to where the boy was sitting. That's when it happened. Oh no. Objection! He shouldn't have to apologize. The only thing that belongs in a trial is evidence. That sounds like bad karma. Oh god. Anything else has no place. <laughs> you should all be ashamed, amateurs. Oh, have I heard that one before? Smile. <laughs> oh no! Lucy, look at this. Lucy, look at this, Lucy. Look at that. It wasn't you who stole my money, was it? Look at that, Lucy. You see that little idiot? <laughs> Ow! Get off me. <laughs> no. Then you shouldn't apologize. Everyone's been shouting you did it, but no one has any proof. That is why, Your Honor, this boy is innocent. She's a teacher. But Miles, it was your money that was stolen. But obviously he did it. But Miles, why aren't you being a vindictive little shit? We don't need proof. Why don't you all just shut up? Oh, wait, that's way. No, well. Yeah. This is uh, always how it is. Skating up and picking on one person. Just think how he feels. He said he'd do it, do it, so he did do it. Very bad. And that's how the entire class got sent to detention. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I will replace the money myself. The class trial is over. The math teacher got reprimanded for wasting precious education time. This is Yes. That's how it happened. After that, the three of us were always friends. That overdramatic display of nonsense. Well, I had no idea. Yeah, it's really lame in retrospect. It's so touching. What? Friends <laughs> 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 forever. <laughs> but the first time I talked to Edgeworth since fourth grade was like this month, like a couple months ago. So that really, that's really kind of lame. Yeah, I had. No idea either. Uh, uh, I mean, I forgot. Yeah. That's when I learned that I have to read this line while letting my cat out and what it meant to be alone, too. Go ahead. Get out of here. <laughs> Faster. I gotta hit the A button now. Okay. <laughs> totally alone without a friend in the world. <laughs> you know, like I live my life now. I mean, uh, like I could be living my life now. <laughs> You did a good thing, Larry. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. I just just lucky that I that I took the day off from school. If I I I'd have been there, there thought I did it. Did you do it? Maybe. Damn it, Larry. <laughs> so I I took it kind of personally, see? When something smells, it's usually the butts. This is a lot of exposition. <laughs> anyway, Edgeworth and I talked after that class trial. That's when I heard his father was a defense attorney. And then he died. I remember his eyes <laughs> would shine when he talked about his father. I'm going to become a defense attorney just like my dad. A famous defense attorney. Then he became a prosecuting attorney. Then a few months later, he suddenly transferred to another school. 
I'm gonna become a defense attorney. It's always sunny in Philadelphia theme plays. Edward <laughs> becomes a prosecutor. <laughs> DLC six incident. The DLC six incident. <laughs> you have to pay to unlock this backstory. DL <laughs> <laughs> <It's> DLC. <laughs> Well, her ride. I'm not sure, but the transfer probably had to do with his father's death. That's so sad. You're real sap, you know that? Uh, so? Just... You have no soul. <laughs> you have no soul. Just have no emotional connection to anything like me. It works out wonderful. You don't live until you feel emotion. Yeah, well... That's okay with me, I guess. I'm just an asshole plant, and I have more of a soul than you. I don't know. My former boss died. That was kind of shitty. I ended up, you know, be a lawyer and shit. <sighs> it was several years later when I heard Edgeworth's name again. There was an article about him in the newspaper. The headline was something like, Dark Suspicions of a Demon Attorney. Oh, no. <laughs> Fabricating evidence, manipulating testimonies, covering up facts. More at 11. The article said he'd do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. But why? Poor K. Poor K. What happened? I mean, that's not the edgy I used to know at all. Yep. That's what I thought, too. Tried to get in touch with him. I don't know how many times. He never replied. I was already dead inside by that point, so it never really bothered me. I guess he didn't want to see his old friends. That's okay. He's so sad. Nah. I really couldn't just drop it, though. I think this is that last dangling bit of humanity I had, you know? I wanted to meet him to warn why he had become who he had became, such a dickhead. That's when I decided... To send him a fruit basket. To send him a fruit basket! <laughs> with dick fruit. Wait, you don't mean the fruit basket? That's why? That's why I'm in debt over a fruit basket. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm behind on that payment. That's why you became a defense attorney? To meet Edgeworth and send him that fruit basket? Oh, you know it. I've been waiting to send that fruit basket since the 10th grade. <laughs> if I was a defense attorney, I knew he'd have to meet me whether he wanted to or not. In court. And then boom! Fruit basket. And then I'd inevitably win a case eventually, and BAM! Fruit basket! Fruit but now you know why I hate my job. <laughs> For what it's worth, your sister was pretty cool though. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Edgeworth believed in me, and I, I guess I'm supposed to believe in him. Uh, he's in his pain. He's in, he's in his pain. He's in pain, and no one's on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real Edgeworth, and I'm the only one who can help him. Larry doesn't fucking matter, so, you know. Whoa, Dick! I mean, I kind of matter. <laughs> the, 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 this is why you help me out for free? Free? Yeah, free! Free? Yeah, free. What do you mean, free? As in, I'm not paying you. Where'd the bill go? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I'm not paying you. Damn it! So it's free. How did I pay that month's rent? Ugh. Plan? Whatever. Yeah, sure, that's why I helped you out for free. I <sighs> helped you because I believe in you. Except I don't remember saying I'd do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Yikes, dude. <laughs> Nick, I love you, man. Don't touch Nick. me. Nick! <laughs> <laughs> we have to save Mr. Edgeworth. If it's the last thing we do, okay? Last? last? Yes. What happens after I save Edgeworth? <laughs> uh, we die! Hold Everyone what? just kills over dead. Mr. Edgeworth, I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> right, it very well may be. What? Why? First, there's that rental boat shop caretaker. 
We need to find out who or what he is. Yeah, you or do. Even if he's a he. Uh, right. Well, that sounds like your responsibility. Good luck. I'm what? calling zombie beyond. I am calling interdimensional being beyond the veil of space and time. I'd settle for who. Guess I can clean out some of this evidence I no longer need. All right, let's go. Your court record feels lighter. <laughs> Suddenly, my back pocket. <laughs> yeah, let, let's see what we. Oh, look, it's all conveniently stuff related to DL6. And a gun. How convenient! Don't forget DL6! Don't forget DL6! $5.99! $5.99! Ah! $2.00 $2.00 $2.00 Alright, so I think the logical place to start is to go look at the boat shop. Yeah. If it's the boat shop guy, we should go check the boat shop. Oh. Hey, a pal, long time no see. <sighs> oh, Detective Gumshoe. Close one today, eh? I got so worked up, I snapped my tie in half. I'm not so impressed that you got it in half. I'm just impressed you found a way to snap a tie. Wouldn't it be Tor? Yeah, you'd think. I think that's why it's so impressive. Yeah. Um, how'd you do that? Skill and precision, pal. Don't really underestimate no, how skillful he is. <laughs> Thanks to you, we, we, know, we now know who really did it. To be technical, we know another possibility of who did it. You mean the boat shop caretaker? <clears throat> Look, I'll make you a prop. I'll ha have that schedule in my custody by trial time tomorrow. <laughs> Come what may. It's my duty to you as a police officer. Now I'm off to catch a catch me a criminal. Go get him, pal. Oh, Detective Gumshoe sure is active today. Uh, he's gone. Now that he's out of our hair, we can go find that guy. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, one more thing, pal. What, Gumshoe? <laughs> Scared her again. Why do you keep doing that? Sorry. <laughs> no way I can go in the woods today. The woods? Yes. Where Lotto Wood is camping? The woods are off, off, off limits of camping. Apparently the park rangers found out. He got pretty mad. No one can keep going for a while. I guess Law is in a lot of trouble. <laughs> so glad I don't pay you. <laughs> anyway, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. I hope not. Well, alrighty then. Huh? The steel eyesore is missing. Eyesore? It's off the air! Leave me alone! Looks like the hot dog stand is closed too. I guess Larry's been too busy with the trial to show up for work. Nothing. Nothing. I miss Missile. Michelle. That old caretaker got away. You know, it's probably for the best. We're not really equipped to handle a cornered criminal. Hmm. Last time you did, you almost got killed. When was the last time I cornered a criminal? The uh, well, last time you can the lady a with criminal. the mob connections. Oh, Action. that was. I mean, that wasn't really me cornering a criminal so much as me being cornered by a criminal. Yup. I never imagined he might be the real murderer. Only and... because of the boys Frieza gave him. And that's why I'm the attorney. 
<laughs> I never imagined. I hate him! Oh no! Oh, I'd know that clearing of the throat anywhere! Uh -huh. Hello, what might you be doing here? Out for a walk, hmm? Oh, you know. Just existing. Ah, oh, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see? No. No, <laughs> really I don't, buddy. Makes sense. Mr. Grossberg! This is no time for idle reminiscing. I think you have a whole head of lettuce stuck in your teeth. I'm sure he doesn't mind. Mr. Edward's trial ends tomorrow. Tomorrow. Sure, that is true, yes. Looks like the rest of the salad stuck in your beard. Stash. Not a beard. But from what I saw of today's trial, Edgeworth should be fine, right? <laughs> well, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, what do you mean by that? Well, I'm not sure. I'm just talking out of my ass right now. Hmm. If you find anything out, come by my office at once. I may be able to offer you some assistance. Remember what happened the last time I asked for help? Do you? Well, I want to pay you back for that. Hmm. Alright. Thanks. Bye. That's great. We did find a file with Dio's DL6 stuff in his office before. I guess we should. Yeah, we did. Go ahead. What do you think Mr. Grossberg was doing here anyway? I guess after we finish up here in the, the woods, we'll go to his office and see what he has to say. Who knows? Creeper. Probably nothing here to even really look at. Step inside. <laughs> Thank you. Nobody's home. Hello, hello. <laughs> hey, it's Polly. My vocal cords just don't cooperate with trying to do squawks most of the time. <laughs> Could just square. <laughs> Did you read that? Oh, I wonder where your owner's gone, Polly. You can tell me. Hello, hello, quack. <laughs> I can't believe he'd run off and leave his poor parrot to fend for herself. <sighs> that bastard. Wow. That's a bad word, Maya. That bastard. <laughs> Alrighty then. Oh no, she's learned how to swear! <laughs> All is lost! Just don't say anything like that when you're talking to your sister's a ghost or she might kick my ass. Why? It's a bad word. <laughs> I'm sure she didn't want me to teach you bad words. So, you know. Just don't. I don't want to get my ass kicked by a ghost. My former boss is ghost. Hello, ghost. Polly. Maybe I should take care of Polly, Nick? Taking, yeah, care, of, uh, taking care of a cat and a plant, and now you want us to take care of a bird. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Why not? You'll keep Steve company. I don't think the plant wants company. Well, why not? They can talk to each other. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's not like the office isn't lively enough. Go for it. Okay. But, uh, I wouldn't just kidnap her, you know? <laughs> he left her here, all alone. I'm sure there's some legal proceedings to this we can go through to get this bird. All alone. You're all alone. The police know about her anyway. I'm sure they'll do something if we can't. Well, okay. But if they don't, we'll get the bird, okay? Okay. If they haven't found a home for it by the end of the day, we're taking the bird. Sorry, Polly. Sorry. Because I can't. Who died and put your name on the fucking 
or law office, Anstica. <laughs> I, 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 I mean... Cause it wasn't me! <laughs> he says I can't take you. Yet! Just stay here. Ugh, now the bird's gonna hate me. Just give it some food before we leave, it'll be fine for a day. It's a bird. They're smart. Is the box still empty? Oh. He's not here. That reminds me, Nick. Polly here knows the number to the safe, right? Oh, why don't you ask her? Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. Let's open it, Nick. Come on. You can open it. That way I'm not uh, guilty of a crime. Yeah, plausible deniability. I'm sure there isn't any money in there. Oh. But hey. Could have drugs in it. Keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in there. Well, what kind of lawyer am I if I don't check for drugs? Exactly. Not so sure. Okay, Nick. Let's see what's in there. I guess there might be a clue or two. The only thing in here is a letter. No drugs? Damn it. A letter? That's lame. Oh, boring. Hmm, there's no name or signet. Sure on this thing. It's handwritten in very precise, clear letters. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Edgeworth? Nick? Why would Mr. Edgeworth's, Edgeworth's name be on here? I can't talk. <laughs> Someone wants <laughs> revenge. How should I know? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna read the whole thing. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. It also says, this is your last chance. Now is your time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. The rest of the letter goes on to describe the murder, pl the murder plot in detail. How to kill Robert Hammond and frame Edgeworth. Well, that's just definitive Edgeworth. Yeah. Edgeworth. Evidence. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitive Edgeworth right there. <laughs> <laughs> Calling Edgeworth out to the lake. Getting on the boat. Firing twice. This is exactly what I figured out today in court. If only we'd opened this 15 hours ago. It's all here in perfect detail. Dun, dun, dun. To be continued. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it means, Nick? Damn. I don't know, but it looks like these are instructions for the caretaker. Dykes, get a message. Notice is evident. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, fucking memes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's not in the call either, so yeah. that's completely coincidental timing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really good timing on that one, dude. Yeah, damn. Notice is evidence. Ooh, woo. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> fucking genius. Ooh, woo. <laughs> oh, he's a genius. He's not even in the call. <laughs> yeah. When he killed Robert Hammond and called out Edgeworth, he was following in instructions. Well, that was genius. But who could have written that letter? Edgeworth. <laughs> and what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? What did he ever do to anybody? Alright, he likes to get guilty verdicts. He ate fruit once. I know that for a fact. He ate fruit. Look, I, I don't know, okay? I, I don't know. But one thing's for certain. This letter is an amazing clue. It's a raging clue, this one. <laughs> well, that was a that was worthwhile. Yeah. Alright, so uh raw offices? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that one at all. That one really <laughs> got me really hurt. <laughs> Do I 
have to go from the law offices to his office? I think I do. Uh, uh huh. One day left, Nick. Thank you. He just put a link in the chat. Oh no. One day left. Ah, meme soon. The memes of destruction. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I can't click on that because it'll show up in the video. So I'll watch that later. Oh, hey, Frieza. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> I just noticed it. Notice that evidence is all. <laughs> yeah. Literally, we found the evidence. I'm like, hey, I got a message. Perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, like perfect timing. Yeah. Yeah. And I know. Go ahead. Well, no time to waste. Let's get going. So we cleared Edgeworth's name. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. It turns out it was the old man. Yeah. That crazy senile old. I... Oh yeah, he was the uh, guard in the elevator. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, spoilers, they're not quite there yet. <laughs> oh, I thought you solved the case by now. No, yeah. no. Not yet. We haven't found the old guy yet. I almost pretend oh, I didn't hear that one. Yeah, everyone watching this, you, you didn't hear that. Yeah. No. I lied. He, he, he is prone to lying. Unless he notices your evidence. <laughs> But did he really do the evidence and just wake us what to think he did? I mean, I literally can see the game, so... No, it was just really good timing. He's out. Yeah. Again. I think he... <clears throat> when does he work, anyway? Now, now. Hey, you work. Don't be harsh. I guess we'll have to come back later. <laughs> he right? literally just told us we could come here. Oh, this is some shit. Uh, hey, Edgeworth. I guess it makes sense to talk to Edgeworth. <laughs> yeah, but he just told us. <laughs> Unless Edgeworth is going to tell us about the murder. You look as think... grim as always. Hmm. Um, Mr. Edgeworth? I heard this. I heard this no, story no, 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 about no, the no, 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 you were no, a hero no, no, and no, saved uh, Dick. It's bad. Bad! Bad! You're a hero! Bad! If the glass wasn't in the way, I'd hug you. And if you're lucky, the glass is in the way. <laughs> glass trial? What do you mean? You don't remember? Well, you see, my he's gonna I be think senile. Nick is the only one that remembers, so I, I don't think it's it actually super happened. important to Nick, and everyone else just fucking yeah, No one out. gives a shit except for Nick. This is a pivotal, life-changing moment for Nick. For everyone else, it was literally... That's pretty for everyone else, it was Tuesday. That's pretty yeah. accurate to be your life. Life-changing for one person is just a Tuesday for someone else. Yep. No, I don't. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it? In fourth grade? I'm just gonna read the newspaper, don't mind me. Lunch money? Oh. Oh, right. Yes, I seem to remember something like that. Nick, I think you're the only one who really remembers. Yeah, it probably only really mattered to me anyway. Mr. Edgeworth, didn't you know? That trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. Show him well, my... I just said you that fruit basket. Just show him my whole diary, why don't you? You have a diary? No. You have a <laughs> diary. <laughs> it's a journal, thank you very much. Dear diary, I don't Ridiculous. think Nick likes me very much. Gee, thanks. <laughs> that said, it does sound like the kind of thing you'd do. You know, before I died inside, I know, I know. Did you like, like the kind of thing you would do? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> still kind of condescending. Yeah, I think you. Yeah, well, I bet you liked that fruit basket, didn't you? You haven't changed a bit, have you, Right? So simple. To a fault, even. Kinda like a peach or a banana. Those were delicious. Talk, they're kinda like a one note. Yeah, I, I bet they are delicious. 
<sighs> They're really expensive. <laughs> Glad they were good. <sighs> I appreciate it. Uh, well, you know, maybe. Yeah. I think you, I think you changed too much, Edgeworth. <sighs> Can't appreciate a good dick joke. Excuse me? What? <coughs> <coughs> Nothing. But per perhaps you're right at any rate. You want to see something really cool? It's really cool. Check it out. I'm a little bit concerned now. Yeah, look at it, look. It's a, it's a letter that's planning the whole murder out and everything. They were trying to frame you from the start, dude. Oh, wait, I just realized what you said. <laughs> Edgeworth, you see this letter? It's totally not a dick. There's no dicks on this letter, honestly. Well, I guess, I mean, someone did write it and they did want you framed, so that's kind of a dick. But, you know. This came out of the safe in the shack where that boat, ta where that boat rental caretaker lives. I see. Revenge on me. Who is that old guy anyway? I I don't know. Nobody knows. <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> Could he be an innocent defendant and you got declared guilty or something? Nice, right. But I don't remember that old man. Not at all. Perhaps he worked at a gas station. <laughs> and you just <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he was following this letter then? Which means there was someone else behind it. Is that, is that him or is that me? Nah, I, I don't know. The, I don't know. <laughs> the letter. It's and the voice of whoever song. wrote the letter, and we don't know who that is yet. Or at least and we're not supposed to, so. Time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. Sure. Two men. Meaning myself and Robert Hammond? Harm of retribution says, incoming. This also says this is your last chance. Last chance? Wait, maybe. Maybe he's talking about the statue of limitations on the DL6 incident. Wait. Wait, that old man. Actually, Liquid. Liquid! Do you know who he is? Big boss! Yogi. Could he be Yogi Snake? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. I'm smart Yogi. than the average snake. A Yogi Snake. <laughs> in the background, all you hear is snake. <laughs> the suspect in the DL6 incident, the one who was found innocent. Uh, wait, what? I oh, to talk to him. Oh, oh, I was like, I saw present and was like, am I supposed to <laughs> present evidence to this fact? Yanni Yogi. Yanni. Yeah. Yanni Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. Whoa. Crazy, dude. They happened to be in that elevator together 15 years ago. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, dude. I wow. Didn't know that. That's so in that's that's unheard of. Yeah. <laughs> First time ever hearing that. No one said that to us yet. The quake was incredibly strong. Before I knew it, everything was dark. And we were there for so long, it felt like forever. The air thinned, and the darkness closed in on us in that little box. We became... unsubtle. Destined to be in the box. Was that... Help! I can't breathe! I think that's probably who that is, yeah. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> And that's probably Edgeworth's dad? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, well. Quiet. Oh. I said quiet. You're not making things any easier. 
I want to get out. <laughs> get us out. Don't shout. You'll just use it for oxygen. Don't these fucking things have vents? They're supposed to. Not yet. <laughs> that happens tomorrow. <laughs> you picked the wrong day to get stuck. Yeah, tomorrow. <sighs> Even though this would be like what the early two thousands. Yeah. Because when this game this takes was... place, so yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like two thousand one. So yeah, and, and then like yeah, and then like ten happen. years before that, because Edward's a little boy. Well, I thought this game took place in like twenty fifteen or something. Which would make oh, right. 15 years ago, like 2000 or 1998 or 99 or something like that. Which I mean, there's no fucking reasonable reason for this reasonable reason, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This air yeah. elevator not to have an air vent. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever. <sighs> but it's an alternate timeline. Ooh. That's all I remember. An alternate timeline where they. What about Sushi that rice murder you were talking about, Edgeworth? When I came to, I was in a hospital bed, staring up at the ceiling. Well, it's good, they didn't, out of they me, didn't so. put your face down, that's pretty good. I'm sorry, right? I'm having a moment here. In court, Yanni Yogi's mental condition was called into question. They claimed the oxygen deprivation and stress had caused temporary insanity. I feel being stalked by the Patriots. <laughs> I think this should go back to whoever made that fucking elevator. In and the end, like... they claimed past the court, and Yogi was found innocent. Class action, let's go! Right, yeah, that, that would be a hell of a lot. Huh. But isn't that strange? This letter tells him to get revenge on Edgeworth. Why would he want to take revenge on you? Right. Right. Yeah? There's something that's been troubling me these last few days. I didn't know whether or not I should tell you. Yeah, we talked about this. I feel like we've been over this. We, we really want- we talked about this, Edgeworth, just tell me! Yeah, we talked about this literally an hour. Help. You're gonna show us again! We've been, been over, over this! this. I'm not, yeah. we're, we don't even need to read this <laughs> until it's new dialogue. Yeah. We've done this twice before now. Yeah, let's get to that. It's, it's, yeah. it's so dramatic. Yeah, like if, if it had been like, you know, 45 minutes since the first one, I'd understand. It's been 10 since the second one, you know? This is dumb. I think... I think the time has come to tell all. Yeah, now? Next time, to be <laughs> to continued. continue. Yeah, yeah, no shit. <laughs> so speaking of I feel like those other two questions are going to be like, we did this out of order. <laughs> well, probably. For the last 15 years, I've had the same dream almost every night. I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. That's some major PTSD there. And what kind of dream? <laughs> it's happy! There's sun shining and rainbows! It's a dream about my father's killing. With sunshine and rainbows! Rainbows! And, and, and happy! Everyone is so What happy. does it mean? Okay, we literally just <laughs> did this. <laughs> literally just saw this. Yeah, you literally the same dialogue. Nice. Is it padding? Don't shout, don't shout, you'll use up more exclamation. <laughs> I, oh wait, I think this is supposed to be Edgeworth based on the way this is going. I I can't breathe. You're using. No, I'm not. I'm actually not sure. I don't remember well it's enough. Just, it might okay. be the one guy. This, sign, this sounds kind of like crazy. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like crazy, dude. Using I, my air. I can't breathe. You're using up my air. What? Why can't they just put fucking names on this? Honestly. Oh, in a couple cases, they're intentionally obscuring it is also part of the problem. Uh, yeah, yeah, here it is, yeah. It's, it's, stop breathing in my air. Ah, I'll stop you. Oh, what, what, what part are you? Ah, no! Stop breathing my air. <laughs> He's written like a fucking no, Metal Gear villain. <laughs> Stop breathing my air, Snake! <laughs> He's attacking father! Judo chop! 
And then I see the pistol lying at my feet. Did you shoot your dad by accident? <laughs> that what what where I'm Collateral Yeah. I don't know if it was evidence from that day in court or the bailiffs. In a daze I pick up the pistol. Just fucking throw it <laughs> Get away That's not how pistols work, Edward! Get away from my father That's why you don't throw guns Bang <laughs> and with that scream, I wake. Yikes! That's a that's a yikes for me. <laughs> well, um, it's a bone chilling scream. A scream that has rung in my ears for the past fifteen years. You need a fucking therapist, dude. Therapist, yes. Edward, <laughs> go get some therapy, man. I'm waving your bill. Use that money to hire a therapist. <laughs> I'm serious. You need you're a therapist. You're a prosecutor. You make good money. Go get a therapist. Yeah, just forgo paying me. Get the therapist. But, but... That's just a dream, right? Right? No, Maya. Hmm. That thought is the only thing that has kept me sane for the last 15 years. Gonna double down on that therapist suggestion. <laughs> yes. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's real? And they say that sometimes people shut out memories in self-defense. Maybe it was I who killed my father. What? What the... How am I supposed to say to that? I, I mean... Self-defense? If you think about it that way, this letter makes sense. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Think about it. Yogi was really innocent. You know, that doesn't matter, because now he's not innocent. Now he flat out killed the man. Yes. And tried to frame another. So regardless of what happened 15 years ago, he was still capable of murder, and he still it's done committed it, murder. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I, 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 yeah, even if this happened in the situation, like, yeah, I I could understand. And also, Edger was like six yeah, at that time. Yeah, yeah he was Maybe trying five. to. Yeah, some guy was attacking his dad. He pulled out the gun, tried to save him. He accidentally shot his dad. That's why you don't throw guns. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why, why he don't wanted so revenge against me. Wait, it's worth being you, declared you mean? innocent. It was me. It was me, Phoenix! It was me all along! <laughs> I was the true criminal of DL6. I shot my father. Criminal's a... Strong word. Strong word. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure the guy trying to kill your dad was still ruined Maya's mother's to... life and reputation. So, and uh, is the true villain. I like tangents as much as the next person, but we're about to start pushing an hour, and so we need to start wrapping up, anyways. So let's try to get through yeah. this chain real quick. Yeah. Oh, this is bad. What are we going to do, Nick? What can we do? I don't know. I don't think there's anything we can do, like it or not. If there's someone else who knows a lot about the DL6 incident, maybe? Oh shit. Hmm? There is, Nick. Polly! There's someone else who knows about DL6! <laughs> Find, out? Time. Find out next time! <laughs> next time <who> <laughs> Thanks for watching, and next time, we're probably gonna talk to a fucking bird. The bird or a ghost. Be... That or a ghost, yeah, one or the other. <laughs> ghost or bird. Take your guess. Ghost or bird. See ya. See ya. Later.